Hey everybody, it's Red Ribbon. Welcome back to another episode of Ape Escape. In the last episode, we took on Monkey. Hello. People, she has to sit to the sidelines because things are getting a little bit dangerous. That's fine. We don't need Peepo Chi. We're good. Anywho, we're off to Lookout Valley. Let's hope this doesn't fuck everything up. Ikaru, I'm sending this gotcha gadget to you. The Sky Flyer makes towering heights irrelevant. Use the gadget trainer to learn how to fly like a bird. Do you want to go to the gadget trainer now? Hmm, still no. Now, if I'm remembering the first game correctly, there's a character missing. Oh well. A couple, actually. Come here, come here, or I'll bite your ear off. So you'll hurt me regardless. So yeah, punch your monkeys. Not friendly. Ty. Hmm, I wonder who that's supposed to be a reference to. So, check out our new gadget. The Sky Flyer. Hey, I didn't make up the names. Rotate the rotate the right control stick, and we'll be able to hover for as long as your fingers can hold out. Super useful. Just love. Just loves her black ma mamba. The snake? Yeah, we're gonna getting a lot of use out of the catapult today. Game's a trip. Oh, rude. Oh, I'm not in the mood. Excuse me. Boulder. Dude, what is your run cycle? Rude! Uh, I'm so damn short. Uh, die. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> Not rude. Yeah, I don't know how many more times I can reiterate this. Without Peepo Chief, we are kind of screwed. He kind of gives us an extra boost in case we can just almost miss a uh, 
I'm sorry, what's this? I'll blast you out of here. Gun. Hey man, you do you. Damn. That's just a mech suit, isn't it? Why? Oh shit! <laughs> Firefight with a tank. Damn it, that was cheating. Get over here. Gun. Asshole, more like. So, yeah, Peepo Chew can drop cookies in case we lose a lot all of our HP. So people cheese is really useful. So it's a little feeling a little naked without them. Oh I'm not dealing with your horse. Ah. Okay you rude little shit. deal. Like swing. Lily. Hey, sure, Lily, you do you. And I'll do me. Just one more to go. Hopefully this Oh, I'm an idiot. So yeah, rowing, both control sticks, and those piranha will attack on sight. They are not fucking around. Thank god for boats. Oh, what underground nonsense, nonsense is this? Okay, sure. That's a violent death. Oh, okay. Sure, man. Thank God for the Sky Flyer. You know, now that we have the catapult, I can go back to get the rest of the monkeys in Liberty Island. But I kinda don't wanna. Seriously, what underground nonsense is going on down here? Looks like a job for the RC car. Shoot me. Yeah. All done. Yes. Simeon Tell. <laughs> Stupid. Really shows that you're a boy. 
I'd never be able to handle a place like that. What in the fuck are you talking about? Well, frankly, first and foremost, that's just sexist. And second of all, what are you talking about? That place was actually kind of pleasant. Handle a place like where? I mean, Castle Frightmare maybe, but even then, that place wasn't that, that bad. You've got a monkey fable. Fanfic. Monkey fanfic. Fanfic. <laughs> He may have been small, but his reputation was well deserved. As soon as the princess saw Thumbelochi coming off, <laughs> as soon as the princess saw Thumbelochi coming off the boat, she pleaded with him for help. The giant monkey, disgusted by the popularity of such a puny fellow, attempted to crush the tiny thing with a stamp of his foot. But the daring Thumbelochi would have not, would have none of it. He deftly dodged the attack, then proceeded to climb up the climb right up the monkey's leg. Damn, Peepochi. What life was this? Oh, okay. I for forgot to read the thing, but whatever. Hikaru, I'm sending a new gotcha gadget. Hope this helps you. The banana rang attracts monkeys with its powerful aroma. A bit of training in the gadget trainer, and you'll be the Pied Piper of the jungle. Do you want to go to the gadget trainer? Six. Oh, squeeze me. Nine. Okay. Oh, cutscene. God damn, you guys are idiots. Hikaru, is lost out there somewhere. Now listen, my boy. Your mission is even more difficult now. You'll have to search for Mipochi while you're catching the monkeys, understand? Mm-hmm. I'm worried about Mipochi too. But you must catch the monkeys first. We're relying on you. This... This poor fella. He's just suffering. Put you out of your misery. Or I thought I would have. Sun, Sand, Sea, and Simeons. I want to be a snail. Got his towel here for. Got his towel here first. Okay, so. Oh, this poor bastard here. Wrong end of the stick. But can I help you? Can you go into the sea or something? What is wrong with you? Don't look at me like that. Okay, well. Some nice free ones for ya. So, uh... The Blue Baboon. Interesting place? So... For further explanation of the Banana Ring. Remember when I went over the fact that stomach fullness is something we didn't have to worry about? Yeah, well, because of it, we can use that against these monkeys. So the stomach fullness will affect how easily the monkeys will fall from that ability. The 
or stomach fullness is really high, they're less likely to go for it. Hey man, you do you. What's in here? It's her special week. Suze. Week ain't so special no more. <laughs> Water Island. Neat. Now, I believe I'm gonna head over this way. Oh, damn. So, sub. Easily the best thing in this whole friggin' game. And makes this whole level worth it. Because without the sub, why in the fuck are you doing anything in this world? <laughs> Seriously. All the swimming mechanics are pretty much null and void. Also makes exploring certain parts of the level really, really easy. And possible. Because some of these levels are not. Sup? Really? I'm in a sub, and you're gonna try to run away. Well, I missed two shots, so you're doing something right. Montague. Now, I'm going to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of swimming mechanics. Frankly, water kind of just freaks me out. Not because I think it's the water is scary, but the things that live in it. But this, this game makes it easy. Dumb fucks have enough time to wreck an ocean, a fucking massive ship like this. When did they have the time? When did they possibly have the time? I mean, I know I'm asking a really stupid question. And, you know, feel free to make fun of me in the comments for it. But I don't feel like these guys should have had the time. I really, really don't think these guys should have had the... Time or energy to completely wreck a ship. Well, here they are. And they did it. They completely wrecked an ocean line. There's that poor, poor, poor fool. Alright, off to Water Island. Oh, I'm sorry. The truth is out there, Molder. Now, if some of you get these names, please inform me. Because I don't understand all the jokes. As far as the names go. Oh, okay. Yes. 
banana? A banana? Oh, I'm sorry. The fuck is this? Alright! Hey, mister. You came all this way just to watch my show? Oh, dear God, no. What the fuck? No, 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 uh-uh, no. Nope, nope, no. Ugh. <laughs> Holy shit, okay. That's gonna be more than my brain is gonna be willing to handle it in one video. Alright, everybody, I think I'm gonna call it here. Next episode, we'll take care of whatever the fuck is about to happen here. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more of my stuff, hit the subscribe button. If you want to know what I'm uploading, just hit the pff, hit the little bell. Sorry, that all jarred me. Next episode, we'll go take on, I assume, Monkey Pink. All right, everybody out. I'm right behind you, Hikaru. I'm right behind you.